guys, welcome again sa IDS, Information Technology Skills. On today's video, we're going to create a savings account statement using Microsoft Excel and your mobile devices. So here, we're going to have an example. I have created this Excel. So if you're going to observe, we have here the current balance and it will show your current savings. And we also have the transaction date, of course, the date wherein you have your withdraw or deposit. Okay, and, and another column for your withdraw wherein you're going to place the amount of your withdraw and of course the deposit you're going to place the amount or how much you have deposit for that transaction then we also have here the balance wherein it will going to display the balance or your savings after each transaction it's either withdraw or deposit okay so if you're going to observe the first balance is 1000 because you deposited 1000 on your savings okay then after depositing another 2000 your balance here is 3000 okay then let's say today you're going to deposit another 1000 so if you're going to observe the balance for today's transaction is 600 so this is an example of what we're going to create on this tutorial so let's start open your microsoft excel on your mobile devices if you don't have a microsoft excel you can download these on your app store provided by your operating system okay so just click the plus sign here for new then click the blank workbook okay so we have here a blank workbook and for the first layer we're going to place here a title it's up to you what title or what you want okay so for this example we're going to have a savings account so if you're done with your title just click the check sign here or the enter they're just the same okay so let's just click the check sign okay guys we're going to use the word savings account because it's just the same with the bank account statement because it is just the same with bank account statement wherein you can view your transactions and your current balance okay let's have another word here we're going to type here the current balance or current savings it's up to you so we have here savings so we're going to place the savings at the bottom so we're going to make that as a space then next is the transaction date then beside the transaction date is the transaction first we have the withdraw the next is the deposit and balance. Let's make the area for the transaction date wider because of course we're going to observe the other words are not visible. So to make that we can click the column header which is letter A and you're going to observe we have the two line. You can double tap that or move the cursor using your finger okay so you can drag like this then let's make the withdraw wider same way deposit and of course the balance i think okay now guys we're going to fix this first so let's click the arrow here beside a to select all the cells then let's click the triangle here which will display the properties that we can change for our excel okay so let's change the size into 12 okay then change again of course the size for the transaction date okay you're going to observe we consume how many one two three four columns for the transactions and the balance okay so we're going to merge that for the title until the okay so how do i merge that or how do i highlight the letters or the column header okay so from here you can see the circle which you can use to drag from letter A to letter D. If all the letters are being highlighted on the property, just find or locate merge and center. Okay, so just click merge and center. The cells from A to D are being merged and the text is being centered. Okay, then let's change the fill color to make it more visible. Let's try this color. 
then the font color i want it white okay then make it bold the font size make it bigger okay this is my design okay you can have your own design it's up to you what you want let's have first the balance for the balance we're going to use a formula here where can we place the formula we can find here the word fx which means insert function okay for the first balance this is the equation okay so copy this first and i'll explain what it means okay so on the fx or the equation you can see the color of c5 is color blue b5 is color red then zero it has no color it plain black okay so zero that is a constant because that is the first savings that you have okay so we start with zero but if you start with 1000 you already have your own savings before you created this excel you can write here 1000 okay so it means that that is the current savings that you have so for now let's have here zero but if you already have your savings before you created this excel you can place there your savings depending on how much it is okay so just click ok it means that it will compute the current savings that you have plus the deposit that you're going to deposit and of course minus the withdrawal if you want to withdraw something from your savings okay so basically this is the first part let's try to have here the deposit let's say 1000 okay so if you're going to observe we have here the balance 1000 so for the current savings let's make it empty first let's finish all these balances okay so let's say you want to deposit 500 from your savings so the balance must must be 500 but we don't want to type that and manually compute ourselves we allow these excel equations or formula to compute it for us okay so how do we do that to do that we're going to ask if what transaction we have done so either withdraw or deposit to create a function in microsoft excel we're going to write here at fx and always start with the equal sign so now guys we're going to use the if condition okay or the if function if you don't know the use of if function you can click the arrow sign here and it will display so it says we need a logical test and the value or what will happen if the test is true and the value or what will happen if the test is false if you want to know other functions in microsoft excel just comment down below and we're going to try to create videos for those functions okay so let's click the if function okay so if you're going to observe we have the logical test the value is true and the value is false so we're going to ask two transactions either withdraw or deposit okay so we have there the keyword or so let's type or then we have a function or okay so if you want to know the function or or the use of this function just click again the arrow and it will display so for the function or you need two or more logical tests okay so let's click that so we have there the logicals or the logical test that we want for the first logical just click the area for the withdrawal okay so we have b6 okay that is the current cell for this balance and we're going to ask if b6 is greater than zero it means we have withdraw something from our savings that is the first logical test that we're going to conduct and the second logical test for the or is if we're going to ask if we have deposit something so for the deposit Deposit that is C6 for that transaction date. Okay, so to ask that again, if that is greater than zero, it means we deposited something. Okay, so let's just remove this one. If the condition inside the or is true, of course, we're going to update the balance. Okay, so to compute for the balance, we're going to copy what we have right on the first equation, which is on the row 5. Okay, so we have the there. of course the current balance a while back is zero for now the current balance is the balance at the top of the current cell plus if we deposit something minus if we withdraw something okay so that will happen if the condition is true if that is false let's just make it empty okay so that is empty okay so if we are done with the equation just click this enter okay observe the balance is zero 
Okay, so let's try to place here 500 as the withdraw and observe if the balance will update. Okay, so just click enter. Observe the balance now here is 500. Okay, so it means that if we withdraw something from our balance, it will update the current balance. So we have the 1000 as the balance. Then after withdrawing 500 from that 1000, the balance now here is 500. So if you're going to remove these and we have our deposit let's say we deposit 500 okay the balance is 1500 that is correct okay so to copy the equation at this area without typing again this equation we can use the fill function to do that if you're going to observe we have circles on our current cell then if we click that circle a menu will pop up okay so let's just click the fill the circle became square then this is square will be used to drag and copy the equation okay so let's just drag this equation it's up to you how many cells that you want if you want to do until 1000 cells that is okay for me this is enough okay so it's empty but if you're going to click each cell it has its own equation so if you're going to observe let's click the fx or the function it will change the cell address depending on the current balance that we are clicking okay so this is b7 c7 then we have here b8 c8 okay the row number is updating let's try we withdraw 500 then click enter observe the balance became 1000 the transaction date just type that manually depending on the date you have made your transaction or your withdraw or deposit so for the current savings this is the total savings that you have just a summary of the balance so i just forgot we need to unmerge this first because we need the column b and c later on okay so for this part we have the equal sign as the start of the equation then we have your current savings if you already have your current savings before you created this excel you can place there let's say 1000 if none you can place there zero it's up to you depending on your current savings same with the first formula of the balance a while back we need the deposit okay so plus of course we need to compute all the deposits that we have okay so we're going to use the function sum okay so just click this and it will display the numbers or the cell address that you need we only need one cell address okay so for the deposit we're going to get all the deposits under column c okay so just click the column c you're going to observe all the cells under column c will be highlighted then minus all the withdraw that you have so we need again the function sum and the column header b so that is the formula for the current saving so let's just click enter or this check sign okay so the current saving is 1000 same with the last savings that we have okay, so if we have deposited 2000 on our bank account or savings account then click enter the balance here after the deposit is 3000 and the current savings is also 3000 so let's make our excel or the spreadsheet more visible or beautiful let's return this into merge okay so click again the arrow then locate merge let's change the font size of this one okay so we're going to have this the font size is let's make this 16 okay bold i want it bold the fill color is color blue it's up to you depending on the color that you want so i want it dark blue the font color is color white okay so that is my current savings this one transaction date to balance let's make this bold again the font size is 14 okay so let's change the sizes of the cell same as what we have done on the first part okay so i want the color of this as brown again brown or gray what color is this i don't know the font color is color white then let's have a table or the grid okay so it's up to you how far you want so we have here the border all border then the thick border outside so this i think i will remove the border for this part 
couple here then let's have the border down there then for the withdraw let's make this as color yellow i want it color yellow we want the font size as 14 the deposit color blue 14 balance this is green 14 okay so here is the transaction date it's up to you let's try to create or write transaction date so these are just some random dates for our practice that's it this is an example of saving account statement using microsoft excel okay so that's it guys this is our tutorial if this video helped you don't forget to like and of course if you need to learn more about microsoft excel so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos bye